Back in August, the Save Bozeman group filed a lawsuit against the city of Bozeman, claiming that they did not give proper notification to residents affected by the change in development rules in historic neighborhoods. After a judge ruled against the lawsuit, commissioners had to re-adopt the ordinance. MTN's Morgan Davies has more. After voting to readapt those guidelines last night, commissioners are now one step closer to changing this building into a five-story apartment complex. But we wanted to make sure that it was clear what we were doing, why we were doing it, and frankly have some more public comment, which was a good thing as well. Since going to court with the Save Bozeman group over the adoption of the guidelines, city commissioners wanted to make sure that they took the necessary steps to readopt the ordinance. It's the area that uh, our predecessors for two generations have thought would have the greatest intensity, where the bigger buildings would be, where more people would live, like any downtown for a city across the United States. Mel says that for the last 10 years, the city has been planning ways to make downtown a high-density area without losing its historic nature. So the downtown should be the area of the greatest vibrancy, so to speak. You don't want to overbuild, uh, but there's going to be more intensity there than, say, compared to two miles to the south or two miles to the north. Despite their lawsuit being dismissed by the judge, members of Save Bozeman still feel like the guidelines adoptions is just a way for the commission to pass projects like Black Olive. We've been concerned not just about the Black Olive, but the fact that it represents many other projects that are going to come and the cum cumulative effects of that are really going to be negative for the town. Save Bozeman says that they still plan to have a presence in the community and will continue to advocate for better downtown development. If we end up with a community with just big box after big box, uh, we're going to lose the character of this beautiful city. Reporting in downtown Bozeman, Morgan Davies, MTN News. The public hearing on the Black Olive proposal has now been moved to October 9th.